Okay, so today I'm going to try to give you guys a little run through of um, my tool chain. This is how, I, uh, how I've been setting up my prints, uh, along with a little uh, fun thing that I did here at the end with a little Android tablet. I'll show, show that to you in a little bit. Uh, so what you see right there is um, uh, SolidWorks, and this is just a piece that I've, uh, that I've designed for one of my Cerberus PUP printers. And uh, basically, you, uh, I export that, I do a save as, and I export that as an STL file. So once I have the STL file, and those are pretty common, you can find those on Thingiverse and other places, uh, I load up uh, Kiss Slicer. And uh, in this case, uh, you can see that I've actually made a plate here with, um, with a number of, of different objects. These are some of my, uh, my effector platforms for my DeltaBot printers. And this one is ready to uh, be sliced, and I've already done that. I've chosen my, um, I've chosen my number of loops, my skin thickness, uh, the infill quantity down here at the bottom, etc. Uh, no support. My material type. I always measure my filament uh, to make sure that uh, the extrusion comes out properly. And uh, I've chosen the correct printer. Uh, not the uh, not the little Cerberus pup today. This is a little pup that's printing away here. Th that would be one of the printers, but you can basically set up different printers on this Kiss slicer for different types of uh, printers right through here. So in, in this case, it's a uh, it's a 250, and um, uh, I've given it my start G code and my end G code. Everything else is ready to go. I've already sliced it, and um, and you can see here this is. Uh, uh, these are the slices right up here. I'll just uh, you can see there we go. Those are the slices. So once you've sliced it according to your your settings that you want, and of course that's something you have to learn. You just can't. Uh, I mean, you can sort of pick it up from other people, but in general, you just have to print a lot to figure out exactly what you want to do. Um, you 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 save it out. So uh, there's a save button up here at the top, uh, right there. I save the file as a G-code file, and then uh, I can do one of two things. I can either have a printer hooked up uh, locally to the to the uh, computer that I'm using, which in this case is uh, uh, Repetier Host. I know a lot of people say Repetier, but uh, actually I believe that the, that the correct pronouncement is Repetier. Um, not that it matters that much. And then we'll, uh, we can see here that I'm actually, this is what I'm printing right now on my pup I've basically loaded that file through the load command and then used the uh, the, t the toolbar over here you can see the g-code uh, right here g-code manual control etc I don't actually use the slicer inside of Repeater. I don't have a lot of luck with uh, with that slicing program but uh, to each their own if you if you can use it uh, more power to you uh, so that's printing locally through the, the standard USB cable. But uh, today what I've got is another little interesting thing going on, which is in the other room I have another printer. And um, uh, there's actually an Android tablet attached to it. It's not even a tablet. It's my phone. Uh, I have a, um, an LG G2, which I discovered today actually works pretty well. So I have this program which I've downloaded from the internet called uh, G-Code Simulator and it's actually a Java file so you have to have the Java uh, apps installed and I've got it running over here this is actually a, a G-Code Simulator and you can see that I've loaded I've loaded my G-Code file in here and it's doing some simulation it's showing me how the print is going to travel on it's actually a very nice program I like it a lot uh, uh, it's very inexpensive on the Google uh, Play Store as well, but in this case, I don't want to just see the simulation. I actually want to send the file uh, over to my phone, and I, my phone is a, is connected wirelessly to my network. So what I do is I take here and I hit load file, and then uh, I basically browse to uh, the location for my for my file, and I uh, I pick the one that I want, which um, let's let's see, it's going to be that one right there. You can see that it's loading the file, and there it goes. It's basically showing there. Now, uh, I happen to know the IP address of my t uh, my phone, my Android phone, so I can do a network send. Right there is a network send. 
And as soon as you hit Network Send, it pops up a little IP address, and you have to enter the correct IP address there. Uh, it never populates it correctly. I'll have to talk to the developer about that. It'd be nice if it saved that so that you wouldn't have to enter it every single time. But in any case, as soon as you as soon as you hit that, um, it basically sends the file to the other computer. So let's go take a look. I'm going to walk down the hallway here. Get to see my house. Let's see here. And there it is. Now this is all being done wirelessly. And it's actually being done through my phone. There you see it. So that's an LG G2. And um, the way that you get this uh, uh, to basically listen for the file coming through um, is there's a load button up here at the top Let's see if, I can closer. if you press and hold that load button right there it'll start what's called the network listener and so it just sits there waiting for that other program that we had uh, that Java program on the desktop and as soon as you do a network send from that other computer it basically just automatically picks it up and transfers the file over here. And you come back over here and uh, you'll see that there's actually a do you want to do you want to print the file that's just been received? You hit yes and away it goes. That's pretty cool. So of course I've, I've skipped a lot of details about how to uh, how to get this set up. I guess I'll show you a little bit about it. You need you need this cable right here. It's called an OTG USB cable. Um, then the other thing that I that I do is um, let's see I've actually got it hidden here in the drawer is I run everything through a little powered USB hub and what this does is it provides power so that my phone doesn't run out of battery because unfortunately the USB uh, there's no separate power port on that you, you basically charge through the USB cable but the OTG USB cable does not provide a charge to the phone so basically I'm just running on battery at this point so it's not an ideal uh, ideal solution but I do ha actually have a separate product here now, this is a really cheap Android tablet I mean when I say cheap it's it's about as cheap as you can get the dot tab Nero this is a $68 uh, dual core snap is a snapdragon dual core 1.5 gigahertz tablet and um, it's dead. This is the second one that's died on me. So you can you can see they're really not very good quality. But let me tell you, when it does run, it prints great. So maybe I just got two bad, two bad ones. Maybe what I should do is buy a better quality tablet. I just uh, I keep trying to go and see how inexpensively I can do stuff, and obviously sometimes that doesn't pay off. But uh, there you have it. Uh, let's see. Uh, there we go. So it has a nice little printer interface control as well there. But generally speaking, that's it. Oh, oh, one other, one other thing. Um, I've got a mouse here, and uh, I've actually got the little Bluetooth dongle for it right there. And amazingly enough, let's see if I can... There you go. Yeah, you can see that the mouse is moving. And so you don't have to use the touch screen. You can just sit there and plug a mouse in and use a mouse, which is really, really helpful when it comes to these little little tablets. Of course, you can you can touch screen it if you want to, but uh, in reality, with screens that small, having a mouse to be able to uh, adjust the speed and do other things with it is really fantastic. So there you go. That's my little uh, my little rundown of uh, of how I've got that set up. You can see it actually prints, actually prints pretty well. Now I'll show you something that actually came off the, off the printer using this particular program. It's pretty decent quality. Something else here.
And there you have it. Thanks for watching.